so my dad um he got me into tennis when I was like three and then he just like coached me up until literally like now so so was he also a tennis coach or did he just coach you oh no no he's he was a train driver and he, oh, really? yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a train driver he just loved tennis um but yeah no he hasn't really coached anyone else <laughs> I mean, I was at um, a school local, like a, uh, like a grammar school, and my academics was, it was quite like a big part um, of my life up until that point, like up until I was like 13. Um, and it just, my tennis wasn't really improving that much and I didn't have that much around me, you know, like training wise. Um, so I kind of like had to make a decision to, if I wanted to keep playing tennis, like pursue tennis. Then I kind of had to find somewhere. Um, yeah. So we, we ended up going to like this academy in France, just trying it out Yeah. for like two weeks and then loved it. And then you went to Memphis. So, yeah. so was, what was the idea there? Did you just, was that already sort of, did you think at 18, maybe you wanted to go pro already then? Or did you think just college tennis um, was kind of an idea to go pro or was it just... So I, did honestly, work? I did. I, I didn't have like that much knowledge of college tennis when I was, you know, seventeen, eighteen. But I mean, I'd heard a few things, like some players that went and, and like enjoyed it and stuff. So I looked into it a little more because, it like me, said I was like a really late grower. Um, like physically, I wasn't yeah like built at all, you know, to to go on the tour. I think. Um, so I looked into it and then I had a few like kind of recruiting messages on Facebook and things like that. Um, yeah. And like Memphis is just one of them that caught my eye. Um, Chris Doa, uh, he's English. So he, he, he's, he's recruited a fair amount of English guys. Um, like, uh, you know, Salisbury, Joe Salisbury and Conor yeah. Glenn and O'Leary. Um, but yeah, so we just got talking and then like, um, he just said, you know what, like just come over um on a recruiting trip and i was like i was like i might as well go see it you know see what's it what it's about and went there met the head coach uh paul Goble, and saw the facilities and the place and just like loved it so decided yeah. there and then yeah and how how was how was it there did you um how was the training like and stuff it was tough. <laughs> it was, it was like I mean, it hit me like a like a brick wall. It was uh, when I first went there because I hadn't done like loads, you know, physically in the gym and stuff. Um, and like on the tennis court, they just killed us. Uh, and it was it was like thirty five degrees. It was so humid, and uh, so yeah, they it, it was tough. It was super tough at the start, but you know your body gets used to it and then you, you know you sort of improve with it so yeah it helps so, so you reckon you made quite a improvement over your four years there in yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, i mean yeah i'd say that that was probably like the most i improved um since yeah since that, like the biggest improvement i felt like i made because you know i'd before i went i had I think i had one point or two points um but like I, I would get, I would you know qualify maybe now and then in the future, and then like lose first, lose a lot of first rounds. Like yeah. So then in your senior year, because then you decided you made the decision to go pro, right? So uh, yeah. How, how did that? Because that's quite a tough move to make, I guess, right? To yeah. Well, I mean, they let us. They actually let me and um, Andrew Watson. We took the the fall off. We took the the full season just to to try it out our coach was like you know you guys have you know done done a fair amount of stuff in college like I think we we both we both won the regional thing and played kind of the national stuff so he was like why don't you guys see what it's like because we both wanted to play tennis like professionally afterwards yeah. um, but we hadn't had that much experience so yeah. our coach sat us down he was like go play professionally for the full see what it's like see if you enjoy it like if it's actually something you want to do like after you graduate 
Yeah. So we, we did that from, what, we went from May, yeah, May 2017 to, to December. So we just played um, no school, which was pretty nice. So that's quite a good position to be in. So then you graduated Memphis and had already a ranking. Do you remember what kind of your yeah. ranking? Um, yeah, so we, we, went, to, we went, went back to school after that um, in January, played our last season. And then, I th so we both came out, um, we graduated. I think I was maybe, maybe eight, nine, 800 maybe, or 900. Okay, yeah. And yeah, Andrew was around the same. So it's, it's, it was a really nice start to have that, like, you know, kind of getting into some main draws and stuff straight away, which was cool. So you've been progressing quite well. Are you, is that how you would view it yourself? Um, or? Yeah, I mean, it's went, it, it went well. Like, I mean, last year was, my first you know like full full year on the on the tour that I'd ever done like 12 months so I mean yeah I, I really enjoyed it and it was going well um I felt like I was kind of you know making making moves uh up the rankings and stuff so uh, yeah and then I got I think I got to my career high um in October or November last year um yeah I mean I think definitely there's there's parts of it like anyone who's traveled like yourself and like played tennis, like you kind of know it's sometimes it can be tough. It can be like lonely out there for sure. Um, you know, tennis is, is a pretty lonely sport. If you, if you don't have traveling with a coach or traveling with a friend, then, um, but you know, you, you make friends on the tour. Um, you see some of the guys like week in, week out. So it's nice. You're all, you're all sort of in the same boat. So you kind of use each other. So the Battle of the Brits, you played Evans and Norrie. Was that both three sets? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so in in all in all of my matches in both Battle of the Brits were all three sets. Oh, were they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I, and I uh, and Paul was also three sets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it is noticeable that you are doing quite well against the good guys. I mean, to me, Thanks, yeah. um, do you do you have a reason like why do you think that is? Is that your playing style or? Um, I think it can be, you know, like kind of the way I play sometimes can, you know, catch some players off guard. Um, and especially like against the, the you know, the big guys, the, the higher ranked guys, I feel like I, you know, have to be kind of aggressive. I, I have kind of nothing to lose, but, you know, yeah, I'm being aggressive and I find that when I'm playing aggressive is some of my best tennis, so. That, um, that usually is one of the big factors. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what? Do you, so what do you think is missing for you to get there? Is it just time, or do you think uh, your game is still? Yeah, I think I think yeah, a bit of time, but also like you know, just kind of getting used to that level. You kind of you feel it when when you play these guys that you know it's not sometimes you can lose a bit of concentration or like, you know, make a few errors here and there, but th those guys don't really give you, give you that, you know, there's not, there's not many cheap points um, coming your way. So yeah, just getting used to that kind of intensity um, is huge. I think when you're, you could be 40 love up in the game, um, whether you're serving or, or they're serving. And I'd say, you know, maybe sometimes in the future, the guys you know, will, will tap out like they'll, check out the game they'll give you the game or something but no the, the top guys they, they never do that <laughs> they get yeah. one point each point at a time and they, they make you feel like you've got to really really earn it to, to win games and stuff so, uh, yeah for sure I mean <laughs> I think it's probably molded the, the person I am today quite a lot um, you know, I've been I'm playing since I was three it's kind of had a lot of lot of effects on on who I am um but yeah, I mean, I've been able to go to a ton of places, um, you know, abroad to different countries and see kind of so many cultures um, and different people and like how, how they act. And I feel, I feel like that would probably be number one, like um, the thing outside of the court yeah. that, that tennis has kind of given me. And yeah, it's, I'm pretty, pretty grateful for that because, um, you know, some, some people aren't so lucky they don't get to, to go to some like other places a lot yeah i'd say 
I say keep, keep working hard. Like there's no, there's no substitute for, for hard work, honestly. Um, you know, there's, there's different ways that you can work. There's different methods, but there's no, no substitute for hard work. So you gotta, you gotta earn it, whatever, whatever you want, you gotta earn it. So. 